What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Hopefully, y'all having a phenomenal day. We are out here. We are doing the do. It's all good, fine, and dandy. We're going to open up this south entrance, figure out what the heck we have to do, because I was trying to figure out the other situation that we have to do, and I just couldn't find the exclamation part, because, uh, you know, that's just me. Also, Tenko bodyguarding Kimiko. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. It is becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Uh, really? Huh. Ah! You just made Himiko angry! Someone like you should know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, no I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But... Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What Changing expressions is just a pain. Uh, that the only reason you don't do it? I mean, it's Himiko. That makes sense. Okay. Will you let me into the casino? I wanted to do one thing to check the casino, but it wouldn't let me fast travel. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects. Oh. <sighs> That's why it won't let me fast travel. There's no objects here. It's like, oh. That makes sense, but still. That is an oof. Do, do, do. What? Oh! We got our first hit in Monokuma! <laughs> I took till chapter three. <laughs> it should not have taken that long, but oh my gosh. I didn't even like, my brain didn't even process. I was like, oh, it's a thing. Let's click on it. Nope, hidden Monokuma. Ninja statue. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to click on. The ninja scroll. I didn't, my brain didn't even, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Huh? Huh? A building? What kind of technology? makes a building suddenly appear. Wow. Ha, it's not just a building, it's a dojo so that it, it doesn't matter how it happened. Right. Like I wouldn't care if a chef came by a, a, a car or train as long as they made good food. Is that really the same? I mean, no, but it works. <laughs> yes, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go. Hmm. Oh, Shuichi. You can decline. I actually prefer it since you're a degenerate male and all. Wow. Shuichi is definitely that. 100%. So this is the ultimate research lab from uh, the look of the, of the building. It's the ultimate Akita Master's lab. I'm sure of it. Well. All right. Let's go inside. I don't... And don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Mm, what a pain. Uh... Pushing Kimiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. I suppose we shall. The Akita Master's Lab. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. That the tatami mats are new and smell really nice. Giant wooden doll. What is this? A large doll made of wood? Oh wait, is it a doll? It's supposed to watch over us and protect us. Why is it supposed to watch over us and protect us? The Tatsumi mats are new and smell nice. Suspended scaffolds. There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this some kind of jump training? Or a huge kung, like a kung fu movie? Nah, I... Tenko is who we need to talk to. Damn it! See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why, Why are you getting angry? Wow. I am so happy I just can't contain my emotions like an excited dog that pees everywhere. As an, emotion, an emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing. Wow, this is such a nice tojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But without a sparring partner? Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Oh no! 
<laughs> you asked for it, Shuichi. You kinda asked for it. But, like... Oh, no. What was that for? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shuichi. Uh, 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 ow. Why are you throwing me? Mio Akito is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Uh, you're gonna s start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding, after all. Wait. This is just kidding? Why did you go straight into actual don't. fighting? I, I don't have a lot of confidence in you. Er, you don't have a lot of confidence here in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, am I right? Or I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You, you might be right. Listen up. You know what works well, a real good at lifting all the doubt? Neo Aikido. It, because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art. That treasure, a pure heart above all else. Himiko. So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like, I love how she's like, right to a like in-depth line and then, hi Himiko. Right. If you combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'll be able to solve things by force. Or solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Uh... <laughs> oh my god! Teko! Girl! <laughs> don't beat up your GF! I see. It seems you're too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart after all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Come on, sweat with me, and afterwards we'll hit the showers together. Oh, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry. I can see that in your heart. Okay. Even I can see that, silly. Yeah, facts. <laughs> My back hurts. If you do that again, I'll definitely turn you into a gross frog. But right now, I have to use all my magic to fix my back. Would you like to leave? Yes, we can leave the Aikido Master Dungeon place. Do 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 do. Huh? What's that over there? It's Mio! Oh no! Come on! What's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. What? No, no, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. Oh, no. So I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Uh, we can take this relationship to the next level. Please. Uh, but, Mew, we, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine if we just come with me and we'll do it together. Oh, God. Oh, you too. Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mio made her way to the Ultimate Adventures Lab. Um, um, what was that? I just feel like I saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I mean, yeah, you probably weren't, but you know, it's it, yeah. We're just gonna pull Kibo to bits and pieces. It'll be good. It'll be a good day. No, it won't, cause poor Kibo, and then I would be feel bad, cause I actually like Kibo and Mew. I should uh, check on what's going on, just in the case. Yeah, we should. Also, it's probably telling us because we have to use the mallet here or something. Oh boy. Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for a source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Oh my lord! You're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Oh my lord! Mew! What the hell are you? <laughs> Mew. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. <gasps> oh no! I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterwards. <laughs> I am blushing. <laughs> all over right now um oh god oh um thank you oh yeah you're 
chassis is firm. Really firm. <laughs> Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. <laughs> the VA did so good on this. Uh. Be careful. Be gentle. That tickles. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, no. Oh, I feel all tingly. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm watching some sort of softcore? You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I it's, might. It's literally a still image, but it feels like it's much, much more. That's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I feel that I felt like I was watching some soft horror. I don't know why. I closed the door without a word. Yeah, yep, that's what you should do, Shuichi. You definitely should do that one. Um, do, do, um, I, yep. <laughs> Me was just doing the same maintenance. Or just, Miu is just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all that was, totally. Yep, Kibo, yeah, let's, well, yeah, that's what we'll reframe it as. Yep, 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 yep. That's definitely what happened. That's exactly what happened, kids. That's 100% what happened. This is, <laughs> indeed, it was nothing but that at all. Yeah, exactly, Shuichi, 100%. Miu's doing maintenance on Kibo's body and nothing else. Yes, cool. I, we'll go with that. I, I am fine with that. I am fine with going with that. Oh, shoot. There's stuff going on. Oh, frick. Okay. Why do they want to talk again? They literally... What, are we gonna go gossip about what the frick just happened? Because no, that's not what we do here. <laughs> like... Oh, you're still bald. Oh boy, Monokuma. Hey! What are you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in a silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him, but what could be down there? What? Monokuma? Um. Oh, I didn't talk to me. Bruh. I did the one thing I for I forgot to literally talk to them. Oops! Literally, it was like, go down the hallway. Um, I, I feel it's... This area feels spooky. Gonta scared too. That's okay. The Murray story was just made up. Not just story. Gonta have weird feeling. Maybe stain on the wall over in there is blood. No. It's just a stain. Probably just staged, you know? Yeah. Staged? Um, Monokuma or the Monokubs probably put it there to scare us. Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um, Samuki, does that kind of stuff bother you? Uh, well, it's not that I'm okay with it. I just, it's so overdone like this. It makes me feel, seem fake. So Actually, I feel okay. But Ganta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Uh, uh, no, but tuxedo essential for gentlemen. Uh, what on earth is the Academy? Oh, we already figured that out. Okay. Blood on wall. Now can we talk to Monokuma? There. Wait, what? 
Monokuma is glancing back and forth with, at me at, uh, and the picture on the wall. Uh, um... This picture. Huh? I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet on oh, this. Why? It's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand and faced the glass in front of me and threw it back as hard as I could. Just as I thought. There's a hidden passageway in here. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. This is eerie in a different way. It definitely is. The ultimate robot lab. No, it's not. Computer room. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this... You bastards. You come... T if you've come this far, that means you have solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. Because... That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I am it, I, certain it is not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? So... Oh, yes. We should explain this room. This is the computer room. Computer room. Ah. Oh, but this computer isn't just an ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is super amazing. If you remember correctly, it's amazing that you can use it to create a new world. A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Aww. You totally just said way too Sorry. much. What? I knew it. Aww. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You only got to remember what you can and can't say. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monofane? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Why didn't you? Your friend's right, so why didn't you help him? Um, well... Uh, if you cannot get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. What? Backfire? This machine can make a new world. What are they even talking about? I'm not good with computers, so I don't think I'd understand no matter how much I investigate. Literally said don't investigate. Also, investigate the computer. Got it. Okay. This is a giant computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it here for now. Investigate more things. Okay, game. Oh, whoa. Ah, a treasure chest. I opened the chest eagerly and... Found one. A flashback light. What is this? I can find out what this place is. Why it's here. Oh, so you found the flashback light. Wow, you are pretty dependable despite the time or the lame face of yours. I can respect that. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll get the others. Just, you just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. I don't think you want to bother Mew and Kibo, though. They're kind of in the middle of something important. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He, oh, Shuichi tried. Shuichi definitely tried. He left waving goodbye. Why do I feel like this man's going to be like, do you want to leave? No, don't leave. I want to see. No, don't leave. I want to see if I can do one thing. Nope. I can rummage through these chairs, though. Kind of. That doesn't... There it is. I got one whole mana coin for that. Two whole mana coins for that. Three whole mana coins! It was worth it. Definitely worth it. Okay, we gotta go to the dining hall now. So we could have just fast traveled there. I don't know why I didn't, but... 
I'm trying to get better at using that mechanic. Dining hall. Because I could just grind levels otherwise, anyway. The levels that I would be missing. Because I did that, actually. I ran around the freaking uh, floor at the end. Um, like, in between episodes. So there was, like, one episode where I was, like, level 28. And then the next episode, I was level 30. Literally just because I was running around the courtroom. S straight up. Why not, right? Like, get my levels in. Because, like, I want seamless content for you guys, but I also want to make sure I'm, like, adequately leveled. Shuichi, it's true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. Wait, so Kikichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaido isn't here yet. Maki's not here either. Oh, Maki's not coming. I, um, didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her. Forget about that, killer. Hey, Mew, Keyboy, did you go to the computer room on that fourth floor? Computer room, you say? Go on! Yeah, there's a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look at it later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry, I am not computer savvy. Oh, is that so? Uh, that's unexpected. <laughs> ha! I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent anyway, exactly? Um... Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Ah, yes. It's I'm pretty good at one um, one man comedy show, if I say Don't so myself. Worry. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent at all. Do not I just me. told you I'm good at one man comedy shows. Don't really get it, but, like, I should really check on this computer room, right? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not gonna come just for some computer. I'm gonna just gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna come for just some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, well, the Mono Cup did say it was amazing. No. Hey, thanks for waiting. Yes! Oh. Kaido, you brought Maki. Thank you. You freaking smarty pants. Kaido and huh? Maki. Why is Maki with you? Of course. Well, it's about that flashback light, so everyone should be here, right? Huh. When you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a second. Kaido gripped Maki's arm before she should could By leave. The way. Kaido, didn't you say you wanted to take her down, or take her mask, or take down her mask, or whatever? Yeah, and I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um, um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? What? What? God, why you hide that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? So she could kill us all before we figure out her identity. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because. When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will then turn to hate. And then, someone will try and kill me because I'm, they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's, That's not... What's the point? Whatever, whenever someone learns my real identity, they always try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Mm. Oh, you've lived a pretty sad life then, Maki. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay hey. to. Hey, can you let go of me now? Hmm? Huh? Oh. Kaido finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to keep his, uh, keep my, or to mind his business, kept dragging me places. Huh? Are you talking about me? Um... However, I'll say this. I have no intention on killing any of you, unless you try to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... You guys, so you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. 
So please, just pretend that I'm not even here. Maki. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Ah, <sighs> jeez, Kaido. What were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No, I wouldn't say that, but... Shall we finally get started? Uh, we've gathered the flashback light here, yes? Everyone. Yes. We all did it. So we have all decided what we are going to do. Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. Uh, like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt? No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped what here. Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit! Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey. Hey, uh, instead of arguing, it would be way faster to just use it, you know. Right. Yeah, gone to worry, but we got to do but, it. But... No matter what we remember, you can't think of about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come if on. you think like that, oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me. I know that. We can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Should we should go for it. Um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm sort of just a plain nauseous. Everyone will turn their eyes to me as I flicker the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that witness or whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Ooh, who is everybody on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight. Everybody's here. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What was that? A, a funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Well, why was I at my own funeral? What? what? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? It would appear that we have all remembered the same the thing. Fuck's going on? What the fuck does that even mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? Well, what the hell is going on? What was that funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral and nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. Jeez. This is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival. That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play that we did at our school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? If that was a funeral was real, there's no way that we would still be alive. Eh. That's true. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? That. We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that a funeral was real. There's no mistaking Logical. that. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Oh, good. God would think everyone was already dead. Worry about Stop it. saying stupid stuff like that. Look at me. I'm alive, hale, and hearty. We haven't tested that theory yet. Mew got to test that theory before we did. Hardy? Is that because like, you get a heart on every time you see me? Uh, oh, yeah. Again, Mew got to test the theory before we did. Oh, I heard males can tell when they tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? Is that true? What? Stay in your lane, bitch! Oh. <laughs> Mew. Mew's like, hands off the men. I need them way more than you do. Oh, boy. I'm not good with other with other people's dirty jokes. Aw, oh, man. What a disappointment. 
a disappointment. Meh. Mm -hmm. It's true. The flashback, like, was a real letdown. We didn't even find anything out about the ultimate hunt. Just a weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about disappointments. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. What? It's a lie. Oh, no. It's nothing. Just lie it again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place, then. Facts. Half the time he says... More importantly, the memory of a funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I cannot wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate the meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh. I freaked out for a second. I was like, oh, there's a Monokuma in my room. No, what? You mean you got a Monokuma? No way. That, uh, that that memory of a funeral, I can't stop thinking about it. It's But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint, but would that help? Hmm. We shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have time left in the day. Maybe I'll head out and clear my head. I already know who it's going to be with. It's going to be a shocker. It actually is going to be a shocker. Um, I don't know if I have a thing for this person, though. So let's look at my presents. Let's pick... Those are just books. Piggies. Oh, I did pass it. We do have cufflinks. Cool. Wait, what? Did, wait, 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 wait. Wait, is cufflinks what I think it is? Oh, it's for a shirt. I'm thinking of different kinds of cufflinks. It's fine! Definitely not what I was thinking. Ah, oh, Kibo's here too, and I actually want Kibo as well. But I think it's time to start our first interaction with her. I need to know. This is where we'll end the episode off. She's already had she's already been the spotlight of the episode. Why not why not spotlight her further? You know. You know, if I die, my funeral would be way more awesome than that shitty memory. The whole country, no, the whole world would mourn my passing. But what would you like to do? Would you like to spend time with Mew? Yes. Hey. You want to lose your virginity before you die? Yeah, <laughs> too bad. It's going to take more than what you're packing to satisfy me. Damn. Colin Shuichi a short dick, man. Uh, I need, I, I feel like. I need to, like, play the song that goes along with that. But, you know, I really don't think I can. But whatever. I spent time with Mew. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Somehow. Would you like to give Mew a present? Sure. I don't know how you'll feel about it. But here. What was that? Is this a good thing? What? I've wanted this so bad. Ah! Not bad. Perma virgin. Uh, what? When you're playing or play, what are you planning to slip off the flip and give these? Uh, oh! When are you planning to slip off the flip with between these big old titties of mine? Well, if you've been tugging it, or tugging it uh, to me every day, I guess I can't let it slide. Luigi. Damn! If you've been masturbating to me, you know, I might as well hang out with you. Damn, okay. All right, Puichi, are you ready? Ready. What was that? Huh? Don't look at me like that. I just blew up and like I, or don't look at me like I just blew up and dove with a rocket launcher. I, Miu Aruma, the gorgeous girl genius, am about to devote my time to you, you know. And you'll entertain me, right? And leave me 100% satisfied? Huh? I don't know about that. Huh? huh? Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? Oh my god. You mother Typical. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine here. Typical. When men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stupid. Death. Oh. <laughs> but since you caught me in a good mood, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without warning, uh, waiting for my answer, Mew stru or strutted towards her lab. 
Oh, first time. Well, second time we're in here. Second time we're in here. Ta-da! We're here. Mio Ruma's research lab. Uh, I know that. You brought me here. Booyah! Now, the first invention I'll show you is Burn. this. Um, what is this? A sensor? Wow, you actually figured out it was a sensor. But I guess... Can you guess what kind of sensor? No. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup counter. Can I have it? There's a there's a specific uh, there's a specific Travis Kelsey that I kind of need to use that on. I don't fucking care if it's a hookup anymore. Uh, I don't care. I don't care if it's a hookup. I, I need to use it. Mew, hand it over. Hand it over. What is what does it do? Tell me. Tell me, girl. Huh? Hookup counter. The doy. Oh. Oh, that's not what I Damn it. It counts how many people you've It is literally your body count, the counter. Oh. <laughs> well that number would be zero. Surprise or whatever. Count how many people you fucked. So how many of you fuck? Or so how many people have? Or wait, I can't read this. It counts how many people that you fucked, or how many people have fucked you. Ugh. Don't point at me. <laughs> Too late. Let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Are you kidding me? What did it say? What did it say? Well, then. Huh. Now on to my next invention. Mew held out the machine and looked. It looked like an arm with a boxing glove uh, as a fist. Um, what is this? <laughs> it's an auto punch. It punches you for telling terrible, dirty jokes. Huh? Why is the name so literal? <laughs> Who cares? Sometimes I'm just too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cranking out new inventions. You expect me to name them all? <laughs> I mean, do you name each of your little dudes after? Oh. Do you, I mean, do you name, name each of your little dudes after you blast them into a titular? Bam. Ah. Ugh. Uh. got punched really hard. Is she okay? Sheesh, that was sudden. Still, though, that was a good punch. I guess she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry to cut your fun short, but I got one more invention to show. Wait. What is it this time? It looks like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. <laughs> This baby will teleport underwear in a flash. I call it the going commando gun. See, that's what I really need. That's the one I really need. Huh? What? <laughs> I just point it at a pair, like, or point this light at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool <laughs> shit, right? What? You can teleport Out objects? Not all objects, just underwear. Well, I guess that doesn't defeat the purpose then. Because then the pants still cover. Damn. It's fine. Just underwear. She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Bow before my formidable talent! Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. What? what? Don't, don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show you stuff. To, or show stuff to you. Uh-oh. Did I upset no. her? No. Um, it's um, really creative. <laughs> really good stuff. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> you think so? Oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, yeah, my inventions are... Uh... <laughs> my inventions are always awesome even without even saying it. But even my geniuses like to be praised, so you seem to understand that pretty well. <laughs> you know, you're pretty alright. I'll treat you some real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard, okay? <laughs> You still, you'll treat me good, so you're not gonna test anything on me, right? Oh boy, that was a way to end the episode. Well, <laughs> my brain is feeling a bit scrambled and I return to my room. Yeah, yep. And that's how we get to end today's episode because I feel like we're gonna have more free time unless it was a, you only have one marker of free time and it might have been. And it was. <laughs> oh no! No! I had a plan! Dang it! I I should have paid I should have thought about that more. 
my plan was to use that free time, that quick free time, to grind for coins for the casino. Oops. It's fine. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's Betty by time for us! You two should sleep together in one big bed. Oh, but there's three... All The three of us could sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds! Huh? So, who's on the top bunk? Might, who, whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. I don't know if we're that close! Nighttime. I have training with... Nighttime. I have training with Kaido. <gasps> we haven't done it in a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Oh, we're actually going to be able to end the episode. Okay. So, in the next episode, we'll be training with Hottie McPotty. We, uh, uh, Hottie, Hottie Bobotty, that's what I meant to say. We're training with Hottie Bobotty, and that's a good thing. And then after we train with Hottie Bobotty, then we probably don't have time to go to the casino. I thought we were going to have a bonus episode, but, uh, nope. It's, that was a one-time free time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all so very much. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later!